First tonight, people in Central Virginia are learning how to survive a disaster from severe weather to a terrorist attack. NBC 29's Nora News is live in our Charlottesville newsroom now to show us new at 10. Nora. Good evening, Matt. The Wilderness First Aid Certification class started as a way for hikers who wanted to stay safe outside to find out how to survive in the woods. But it's evolved, and now people who are living abroad who are concerned about their personal safety are taking the class. Three, two, one. <laughs> If you find yourself in a disaster zone with two broken legs and no first aid equipment, do you know what to do to make it out alive? That's my leg, sir. Oh. That's the exact scenario these students are acting out at the Medic Solo First Aid Camp. How's your chest feeling, my friend? Textbook learning is one thing. It's great to have things in your mind, but being able to hands-on actually perform tasks in the stress of the actual situation is a whole different thing. At the Mountaintop Montessori Schools campus in Albemarle County, students ranging from lifelong hikers to new outdoorsmen tried splinting friends' legs. Should anything go wrong or if there's any symptoms of anything going wrong, we can make sure that uh, hopefully we can keep it from getting worse. And if something does happen, we know how to act. Laura Conrath is a teacher at a boarding school and often takes her students on wilderness trips. A lot of the kids I take out are actually city kids. They're not used to going outside. They don't necessarily like it. But the class isn't just helpful for those going on organized hikes. You may be traveling somewhere and you're not near any help or you're in a disaster zone and there's thousands of people injured and there's only so many ambulances to go around. How do you give care when help is not immediately available? And that's what this class teaches. He organizes these classes all over Central Virginia and there's information about how to sign up on our website at NBC29.com. Okay, Nora News live in our Charlottesville newsroom tonight. Thank you, Nora.